An article published in the New York Times claims that evidence gathered in an investigation into the crash of Egypt Air Flight 804 indicates that the plane most likely broke up mid-air after a fire near or inside the cockpit. However, officials could not determine whether the fire thought to have caused the crash had been set off by a mechanical malfunction or by a malicious act. Now, the exact source of the fire still remains unclear. The evidence retrieved from the black boxes appears to be sufficient enough to rule out the idea that a pilot might have deliberately flown the plane into the Mediterranean. Flight 804 plummeted from 37,000 feet during an overnight flight to Cairo from Paris on May 19th. All 66 people on board were killed. Well, let's get to you more details now on this uh, latest development in the investigation. CCTV's Yasser Hakim joins us with the latest from Cairo. Uh, Yasser, any confirmation from authorities in Egypt on this evidence that's been published in the New York Times? No, uh, not yet. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, we're used to the habit of, of not receiving too many uh, official uh, announcements uh, from the government here. Uh, about any developments and that they prefer that it comes every once in a while uh, gathering information and just set, uh, giving a statement or sending a statement to the press until the investigation is fully uh, over but what we all know officially so far is that uh, the last time uh, the the investigation committee uh, mentioned uh, any developments is that uh, it said that the uh, voice uh, cockpit recorder uh, uh, has shown that the uh, pilot said the word fire uh, before uh, uh, the, the plane disappeared in midair. So uh, th this is the, 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 f the final thing that we know so far, officially, that there was a fire, yes. But uh, did it blow up in midair or not? It's not yet confirmed officially. However, uh, when, when the government said that they, they, the last thing they heard was the word fire and then there was a silence, it, it could mean that uh, there might have been an explosion in midair because of this fire, whether something that is uh, a, a terrorist attack or a, a technical failure, uh, as well as that the pilot did not even uh, send any mayday or SOS. So that also shows that uh, there was no time for that, and, and probably there was a, an explosion uh, which did not give time for the pilot to give to, to send any dis, uh, distress messages. But uh, officially, so far, there, there's nothing on the Washington Post report mm. uh, from the investigation team. And we know, of course, that investigations of this nature can often be very lengthy. But as it stands now, has there been any indication of what kind of timeline Egyptian authorities might be looking at in terms of making more information public? Well, w what we've been told is that it will take some time, uh, maybe weeks or months, but uh, not as uh, slow as what's happened with the Russian plane. Uh, the Russian uh, jet that uh, went down on, on Sinai last uh, October, uh, the, the results are expected at the end of this month. So we're talking about at least nine months uh, to get uh, results from the uh, black boxes and an investigation uh, uh, announcement. Uh, so this one could take months, but we're told it will not be as slow, not nine months or 10 months uh, like the Russian one. It could uh, end faster. And, and the results we're receiving right now show that the process is a bit faster than the Russian uh, jet. So uh, it, could, it could be a couple of months before we get a final uh, result on what has happened on board the Egypt air flight, uh, the Airbus that went down mm. uh, in the Mediterranean. Thanks very much. Yasser Hakim with that update for us, uh, live for us there in Cairo.